Imagine yourself playing hide and seek, except you have perfect camouflage abilities. You would always win, wouldn't you? Well, that's what it's like to be a cephalopod, and their amazing hiding skills are largely due to their unique vision. Before we dive into cephalopod vision, it's best to explain our own vision first. In humans, color is visible to us through cones in our eyes. These cones detect three distinct wavelengths of light, blue, green, and red, that combine to form the visible color spectrum. When light hits an object, multiple wavelengths are reflected back and the cones will send a signal to our brain, allowing us to determine the color of an object. No object is just one wavelength, however, but various amounts to create a certain color. For example, the color black absorbs all the wavelengths, while the color white reflects all wavelengths. Cephalopod eyes are very similar to our own, but they function in a completely different way. They have camera eyes that convergently evolved with vertebrate camera eyes. Their pupils are much larger and more uniquely shaped. Cephalopods also lack a blind spot and have just one photoreceptor, which led scientists to believe that they could only see in black and white. Humans, in comparison, have three types of photoreceptors that can detect red, green, and blue light. While cephalopods are known for changing color to blend into their surroundings or to attract a mate, it was thought that they were simply matching the intensities and the textures of the environment instead of actually seeing the colors in their surroundings. Up until recently, no one had an explanation as to how these alien-like creatures could do it. In 2016, that all changed when father and son duo Alexander and Christopher Stubbs published their research on cephalopod vision. They hypothesized that cephalopods can distinguish color through a chromatic aberration, which is enabled by their off-axis pupil, despite them being monochromatic. This means, despite technically being colorblind, they can still see the full color spectrum. The research involved creating various computer models of a hammer octopus eye to test how different pupil shapes can increase chromatic aberration because of their different focal ranges for wavelengths of light and because of their off-axis pupils. Chromatic aberration creates blurry images around the object of focus, producing a slight rainbow effect on the edges as well, like in the car photo shown here. In the eye, different wavelengths of Color will focus at different points behind the lens, so the eye has to focus back and forth on the object frequently in order to bring all three wavelengths of light into focus individually and determine the ultimate color of the object. Humans lack color aberration, but the researchers found that cephalopods have actually evolved to increase the color blurring through the off-axis pupil, which is demonstrated in eyes A and C. With the larger and misshapen pupils, these creatures can increase their chromatic aberration shown by the color blur, or CB height. Eyes A and C have much larger CB heights than eye B, which best represents a human eye. The human eye has a smaller height because the blur is distracting to us and decreases our vision. Cephalopods, on the other hand, use this to their full advantage to maximize the amount of spectral information they receive and deduce the color of the object. This might not apply to just cephalopods though. In fact, it is thought that dolphins and some species of spiders use a form of chromatic aberration to see as well. Both of these animals also have monochromatic vision, but it fails to explain how they interact with their environment. These experiments are limited since they were performed with a computer-generated eye and not on live animals, so it is still considered only a theory. While cephalopods might technically be monochromatic, they can see every color we can with chromatic aberration, an off-axis pupil, and a little bit of... Imagination.